order, I call Julianne Genta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I rise on behalf of the Green Party to speak in support of this bill. Um, although I acknowledge that the bill had a very unfortunate uh, political genesis, um, luckily, uh, the very worst aspects of that original Bill um, X spending cap have been dumped. And what's been left um, is actually a pretty good bill requiring greater transparency from government. Um, and the principles that it introduces uh, when considering a revenue strategy, um, for example, taking into account efficiency and fairness, um, that's quite a good principle. The Green Party can support that principle. Um, taking into account having regard to the impact on present and future generations is extremely important. And I would say it's very much in line with the Green Party's philosophy on economics and uh, monetary and tax policy. However, um, what the bill, it, it actually would, if, if this bill was implemented now, um, it would become quite clear to everyone that what the National Party is doing is quite the opposite of this. And so it, it's quite, you know, there are many examples of National Party policy that have reduced uh, the efficiency, reduced the fairness of the tax system. We have uh, growing inequality in New Zealand, and that in part is due to um, the lack of a capital gains tax, uh, which would be a very fair and efficient way to broaden our revenue base. Um, and also because when the National Party came into power in 2008, 2009, they introduced regressive tax cuts uh, that gave a lot of wealth uh, to those who already had a lot of wealth um, and basically is a wealth transfer from those who are the least well off, the most vulnerable in our society, to those who have the most. Um, so, but of course, um, aspects of this bill, like the investment, investment statement, aren't going to come into um, aren't in to come into force until 2017, by which time, of course, this national government will have long since uh, moved into opposition and won't be required to um, be held to account uh, to these good principles of efficiency, fairness, transparency, taking into account um, the capital position of the government, not just looking at, um, at debt and at GDP. Um, the Green Party would say this bill doesn't go far enough. Um, in the, a move to having a more clear investment statement that has a medium and long-term um, outlook is quite a good move that's in line with Green Party principles, but it doesn't take into account the natural and social capital, which is essential for long-term prosperity of New Zealanders. So uh, we have a challenge and we have an opportunity in the 21st century. Um, we're coming to grips with resource depletion, uh, climate change, rising inequality. All of those things do not serve the greater interests of the people of New Zealand. Um, and the global financial crisis was actually, it's a crisis, but it was also an opportunity um, to revisit some of the assumptions that have been operating since the 1980s. And uh, what the Green Party fundamentally recognizes is that the economy is a subset of our society. It doesn't reflect all of the unpaid work that enables New Zealanders to, um, to have enough to eat, to have a high quality of life in New Zealand. The economy is just one subset of our human activities, which we take part in as part of society, and society is a subset of the natural environment. And we cannot have ongoing economic growth if we are drawing down non-renewable resources and increasing the carbon pollution in the atmosphere. It's simply not possible. Mr. Speaker. So um, in order to have the ability for New Zealanders to have um, a high quality of life well into the future, um, to enjoy the benefits that come with living in a place that has water, that's safe for swimming, safe for drinking, that is um, going to be available to future generations, not just the people who are currently in business today, uh, to be able to have the benefit of a stable climate, we need to start taking all of these things into account. So we need to live within our means, and we need to look after the fairness and opportunities for all New Zealanders if we want to have a fair society that enables future generations in New Zealand to thrive. And this bill makes some small changes that we hope will increase the efficiency and fairness and transparency of government revenue strategies and their long-term uh, fiscal strategy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I call David Bennett.
Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to take a short call on the Public Finance Fiscal Responsibility Amendment Bill. Um, it's very encouraging to see the Green Party supporting this bill.